welcome back in today's video i'm taking you guys through my monthly pamper routine so if you enjoy don't forget to subscribe and let's begin i'm going to start by lighting a candle the one i'm using is eucalyptus rain from bath and body works and this smells incredible it's a mood lifter you guys it is so so good it's a really good one if you love eucalyptus scents Starting off with a cleanser, I have been using the Sebamed Foaming Cleanser. It is a good facial wash. It helps with blackheads, pimples and tiny bumps. It smells fresh and gets rid of dirt without stripping the skin dry, so I really enjoy using this wash. I am gently cleansing in circular motions for around 60 seconds and then I am pat drying my skin. into the shower I will be going in with some hair treatments I'm going to begin by brushing out my hair and remove any tangles this is such a good way to maintain your hair and helps with better blood circulation I do have an in-depth video on my hair care routine all the steps that I follow so if you are interested I will leave the links down below as much as I love hair oiling I also love using the Dove's hair therapy breakage repair hair solution I like to section my hair and apply this on my scalp. This leaves my hair stronger, reduces hair fall, there is less breakage and it nourishes my scalp. So you can use this as a leave-in treatment as well after shampooing but I prefer using it before I shampoo and condition my hair and I leave this on for around 30 to 40 minutes and then rinse it off. And for the lower half of my hair, I have been talking a lot about this product since I have been using this a lot. It is the Minimalist Pre-Shampoo Hair Serum and I apply this all over the length of my hair. This is a hair serum that has been showing results and I absolutely love it. It leaves my hair frizz free, makes my hair so manageable and so soft. 10 on 10 recommend you guys to try it out. So it's been around 40 minutes and I'm going to go and rinse both the treatments out. I'm washing my hair using the Biolarge Hair Shampoo. It is a really good shampoo that controls frizz and lathers really really well. It leaves my hair clean without leaving my hair dry. It's absolutely perfect for monsoons if you have frizzy hair. This is literally meant for frizzy hair so it's going to work in that direction. Before I move on to the next step, I'm going to squeeze out any excess water from my hair strands and then go in and deep condition my hair. I'm using the Garnier Banana Nourishing Hair Mask. I love the scent of this hair mask, you guys. It smells like sweet, sweet ripened bananas. It has a smooth, runny kind of texture. I'm taking a good amount of this hair mask and applying it all over my hair strand. This leaves my hair super soft, nourished, and more manageable. You can use this all the three ways that is mentioned, but I prefer to use this as my hair mask and as a leave-in conditioner. And I like to leave this on for 15 minutes and get on with the entire body care routine. I'm going to cleanse my body with the Dove's Glowing Ritual Body Wash and with a loofah. This body wash has a really nice sweet floral scent to it. It's infused with rice water and lotus flower that leaves the skin smooth. So I'm cleansing all over and I'm making sure that every area is covered. It is a very nice nourishing wash that leaves you clean and soft. I'm going to move on to a sugar scrub. I'm using the Gingham Foaming Sugar Body Scrub from Bath & Body Works. First of all, I'm obsessed with this entire line from Bath & Body Works. This smells so, so heavenly. It smells so, so clean and fresh. If I could literally describe it, I would say it's a very, very clean, feminine scent. The scrub leaves my skin extremely smooth. It also foams up quite a lot, like you guys can see. So it can be used as a body wash too, in case you do not have much time on your hands. And of course, it leaves my bathroom smelling so, so beautiful every time I use it. I literally have their body wash, body lotion and that's just how much I am in love with the scent.
to shave i'm going in with the gillette's razor this is the men's razor and a shaving mousse from dove this one is the dove's new variant in cotton oil it again smells so clean and nice so i'm going to apply a good amount on the areas where i will be shaving it glides on beautifully and gives me the closest shave make sure you use a good sharp razor i really do like gillette razors whether it's for men or women both work really really well and i'm just continuing the shaving process I'm finally rinsing the hair mask now and finishing my shower routine. I'm going in with a microfiber towel to cut down my drying time and to prevent breakage. Moving on to skincare, I did wash my face before so I'm going to go on with the next step which is to use a face mask. I love using clay mask and I have been using the blue healing clay. I prefer mixing this with basin, yogurt or honey. Today I'm keeping it simple, I'm using 1 teaspoon of blue healing clay and 1 teaspoon of yogurt. Mixing this all well and I'm going to go ahead and apply this face mask on. It's pretty simple and easy to use, you can totally go in and make your own, like you can add in whatever ingredients you prefer to be in your facial mask. And this mask is really great for unclogging pores, draws out oil, dirt, it basically detoxifies. I like to apply a decent amount and keep this on for 10 minutes. I do not go over 10 minutes simply because it kind of dries out my skin. So if you have dry skin as well, um, I would not suggest you to use it over 10 minutes. face mask is all dried up and I'm going to be using a cleansing pad to gently remove all of the face mask off. To tone, I'm using the Cosarex Centella Water Alcohol Free Toner. It is a very watery, lightweight toner, perfect for oily and sensitive skin. Very refreshing and soothing. It's one of the most lightweight toners that I own. Literally feels like water on my skin and I feel like this is a really good toner for the summers and these humid months. I prefer using a vitamin C serum in the mornings and this is my second bottle of the Minimalist Vitamin C Serum. It's a really good vitamin C serum. It provides that healthy glow, helps with pigmentation, works on all skin types but please do a patch test whenever you try anything new. I'm also taking my time and tapping it all in. It is very important to let this absorb before jumping right into the next step. For my moisturizer, I have been using the Etude House Emulsion. I have been using this for a really, really long time. It is much lighter than a moisturizer and that is why I absolutely love using this. This emulsion is super light, it absorbs really quickly and is super hydrating as well. It is an excellent everyday moisturizer and perfect for summers again. For my sunscreen, I'm using the Listen sunscreen with SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. This is like one of the best sunscreens in the market. It is sweat proof, leaves no white cast. I mean just look at that. It's so so lightweight, absorbs right into my skin. I have no complaints and it is one of the best sunscreens I have used. I'm using the Inventa Hydrating Lip Balm. This is such a cute lip balm. I mean, it comes with this really cute little honey spoon. As for the formulation, it keeps my lips super moisturized and soft. For my deodorant, I'm using the Dove's Go Fresh Pear and Aloe Deodorant. It is such a refreshing deodorant. It has a wonderful, fresh, clean scent and lingers on for quite some time. For my hair, I have been using the Tresemme's Gloss Hair Serum. This one keeps my hair smooth and smells really really nice. It can be also used as a heat protector as well. I'm using Find Your Happy Place Body Butter. This is in the scent Blush Rose and Raspberry which smells so amazing. It is super lightweight, provides good hydration and does not take time to absorb. 
to finish off i'm using the victoria secret bombshell body mist this is such a beautiful feminine scent you guys it is a very feminine flirty and playful scent i'm so in love with the scent it is so fresh and uplifting if you haven't tried this i fully recommend you to try it out and i like to just chill and have my breakfast i normally would watch netflix but today it was pouring outside so we decided to sit and enjoy this view and that's all for my pamper routine. I really, really hope you enjoyed. If you did, do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.